Now, Kenya will next week join the rest of the world in marking the World Population Day, which seeks to focus attention on the urgency and importance of population issues. Now, the day was established by the then Governing Council of the United Nations Development Program in 1989, an outgrowth of the interest generated by the day of 5 billion, which was observed on 11th July 1987 in Kenya. Um, this will be very significant as the country prepares to conduct a national census in 2019 to get an updated record of the country's population. The theme for this year's celebration is family planning is a human right. But I want us now to take a look at uh, very quick facts uh, with regards to the Kenya population before we speak um, uh, to the Director General. Now, the current population, according to the United Nations estimates, are at uh, 50 million um, uh, or thereabout. And these are the estimates according to the United Nations as at July the 6th, 2018. This makes for 0.67 percent of the total world population, the population of Kenya. Now, 28 is uh, the number with which Kenya has been ranked in the list of countries by population, of course, starting with um, the densely populated to the least populated Kenya is ranked at number 28 worldwide. The total land area for the country is 569,140 kilometers squared and uh, the 26.7% uh, of the population is urban. This makes for about 13 million people living in urban areas in Kenya and 19 years is the median age in Kenya. Quick facts with regards to the Kenya population as I now just prepare to get into that conversation with the Director General of the National Council for Population and Development, Dr. Josephine Kibaru Mbai, who's now joining us in studio to just shed more light on what next week would look like on the World Population Day and what the major focus will be on. Thank you very much, Dr. Tari, for joining us here in studio. First things first, yeah. now let's just talk about the theme that has been picked for this year's World Population Day. Why did we pick this theme? Well, the theme is uh, determined by the U United Nations. Yes. So Kenya is domesticating the, the global theme. Mm -hmm. But it's very appropriate for, for Kenya. Mm -hmm. You know, talk, saying family planning or indicating that family planning is a human right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very important that uh, couples understand, uh, parents, couples, that it is their right mm -hmm. to determine the number of children they have mm -hmm. and how they space those children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the mechanisms are there, drugs are there, or medicines are there, um, gadgets are there to help them do exactly that. So it's their right to access all this information and all these services so that they can be able to make that a very critical decision for the family. In terms of the situation in the country currently, just bringing it down to, to Kenya, um, last year the theme w was uh, surrounded teenage pregnancies and contraceptives. This year we are still majorly on family planning. What would you say is the status of uh, family planning currently in, in, in the country? Yeah, uh, as a country, uh, overall we are doing well in terms of the family planning program mm -hmm. because uh, what we call the total fertility rate, that is the number of children a woman has in their lifetime, mm -hmm. has gradually uh, reduced from eight children per woman in the 70s, mm -hmm. actually 1978, to currently 3.9, which is like four, four. children mm -hmm. per woman. Mm -hmm. So we've been having a downward trend, which is important for the country in terms of uh, also socioeconomic development. Mm -hmm. But then there's a lot of discrepancy, you know, or what would I say, it's not uniform, that's an average. When we talk about an average, it's deceiving. Because some of the counties, now we, we talk about counties, mm -hmm. are, are having total fertility rates of about 60 uh, children per woman in mm -hmm. this day and mm -hmm. age, with a contraceptive use, what we call contraceptive prevalence rate, of less than 10% while the national average is about 58%. So you can see the difference. With some counties having a family planning use of close to 80%, like a county like Kirinyaga, Nyeri, Embu, while other counties have contraceptive prevalence, the uh, rate of six, two even, mm -hmm. in some counties in this country. So there's that discrepancy, although overall, and also in the region, as we are doing better than most of the East African countries, if mm -hmm. I may say so, in terms of the averages. But let's not forget mm -hmm. 
what is what those averages mean in terms of specific counties how would you describe how the county is handling this conversation so far because uh, the conversation has been let's take it down to the grassroots level reach as many people as we can yes family planning program when programming in family planning, we have a commodity component of it, you know, making sure that uh, the, the services, uh, uh, I mean, the commodities for use in terms of uh, family planning is available. And that is still a national function, I mean, because that's part of what we call uh, strategic commodities, getting family planning uh, commodities available for the people. Mm -hmm. But the actual service delivery, you know, counseling, um, providing the, the services, yeah. be it be an insertion of IUCD mm -hmm. or even doing a tuberization of vasectomy or just the pills or, mm -hmm. or, or condoms. That service is being offered by the counties, right from level one uh, facilities up all the way to level four or five facilities. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the discussion has to be at both levels. Make sure that the commodities are available and the counties make sure that the services are available. Mm -hmm. And the services are available if they are health workers to be able to provide the service. Because if a woman comes, or even a man for that matter, for a service in a health center and nobody can provide that method for that day, it means that's a lost opportunity for that couple or for that individual. So the two levels of government have a crucial role in making sure that the family planning program mm -hmm. is, is moving properly. This comes ahead of the census, national census expected to be conducted in 2019. I mean, what do we expect? You know, the, the, the census is conducted every 10 years. Mm -hmm. The last census we had was in 2009. Mm -hmm. So this is timely for Kenya. And uh, the government, through the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, is really geared to the 2019 uh, census. Mm -hmm. In between the census, usually we do projections, you know, population projections, which my, my institution, the National Council for Population and Development, is mm -hmm. mandated to do. So that even as we wait for 10 years, using the growth rate and other indicators, we can be able to tell the government where we are at any one time in mm -hmm. terms of population generally and specific population or young people, old people and so forth. So uh, come the census next year, we mm -hmm. expect to be able now to have real, real data mm -hmm. in terms of the numbers, absolute numbers, and also uh, the numbers across counties which I believe are, are very important, yes. you know, uh, apart from for, for planning and so forth. Also, mm -hmm. I think there's a political need for mm -hmm. these numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the census is a big event for the country. Uh, we've never missed a census in all the, since uh, this started many, many mm -hmm. years ago. So we are hoping that we can mobilize the country to be ready to provide the information to the Bureau of Statistics. So then what would these statistics mean as far as just managing the population would be concerned? I think this, the, the, the census will now give us the real figure so that we are not working on, on projections. Mm -hmm. And like you said in the opening statement there, what you present in there, Kenya is a youthful uh, uh, as a, a lot of young people, the average or median age being 19 years. Mm -hmm. That we expect to be confirmed by the census. We don't expect any difference. Mm -hmm. So it means as a country, we should be planning for a very youthful population. And meaning that our investments shouldn't be towards making sure that these young people are, are able of course to remain healthy because it's important that they are. They get the proper type of education you know, an education which gives them skills. That's why you see the government investing a lot in technical and vocational institutions and also the review of the curriculum, of the education curriculum, so that it's in such a manner that if you are strong in uh, academics, you move that to and become professors or whatever it is. But if your strength is in the arts, uh, it's in uh, technical subjects, you're able to go to that direction and be useful for the, for the country in the long run. Mm -hmm. Another area, of course, which we need to plan for the young people is job creation. Mm -hmm. That's where you see under the government's big four, the issue of, of, of making sure that the industries are functional, the manufacturing sector is doing its bit, so that the young people are able to acquire jobs after they have gotten the skills. Because we need to move towards uh, harnessing a uh, demographic dividend. Mm -hmm. Because we are in a situation where we have almost close to 80% of the population of Kenya is below 35 years. 
Of course, below 25 is about 34 yeah. percent of the population. When you get the absolute numbers, these are big numbers. So it means that for this country to develop, we must make the conditions favorable for these young people to get the right skills, to be healthy, to get jobs so that they can be able to help us uh, harness that big numbers of, of the youthful population. So next week Wednesday on the World Population Day, what do we expect? Well, uh, World Population Day is next, next week on 11th. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a high level breakfast meeting where we'll be able to be telling the country, the situation, uh, how the population can be integrated into the big four. Uh, what does human rights mm -hmm. in terms of uh, family planning mm -hmm. mean, you know, in actual uh, sense, what yeah. I'm trying to say here now, so that everybody that day is sensitized. Mm -hmm. We also hope that this would, would, be that, would happen in other counties so that uh, the same message is passed on to the counties and also continue offering services, you know, highlighting that family planning services are really critical for development. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. We expect to see um, uh, what happens on that day. Dr. Josephine, uh, Josephine Kibarumba is the Director General of the National Council for Population Development. Once again, thank you very much for making time for us here on KTN News Desk. Remember, the World Population Day is uh, next week on the 11th.